Uh, hello, I, this is Scott Crossan again. I said I'd be back, and I'm, I'm back. So, uh, this is my second video. I'm, uh, this is going to be a little bit longer than last time. I, I guarantee you that. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, I've been gone for a bit. Put out a few videos. Then I had to move. Lost the camera. Everything else happened. I went gray. You know, just a just a few things. And I decided I'd just pick this up again because I really enjoyed that for the last, for the couple months I did it back about ten years ago. And uh, you know, I think I got a couple of things to say about RPGs and stuff. I've I've written a couple of books, or not really written the whole book. I was contributor on a few books and you know I'll actually have an actual setting that I'm going to finish at some point very soon um you know I've been working you know little things uh other thing that got me back was all this high goofery by wizards yeah if you haven't noticed the title I also learned what, what click played was <laughs> to answer the question the title no it's not the the OGL is not the end of Marvel and I'm surprised no one else has tried to say that I'm really shocked um, what I think this whole thing is is some upper management got a decided for some stupid idea and about making everything online and got a hold of some middle management who didn't push back like they were supposed to and uh yeah it just got out of control kind of like you know that whole maybe maybe they should have talked to mr uh mr victor frankenstein before he decided to start putting together dead bodies you know maybe we'll, we'll see how that works what now uh if you're curious on what my um, opinions of what's going to happen with the RPG industry, we'll be fine. D&D uh, &D may go away for 10 years. That's that's the big, the worst that will happen. Hasbro may put it on ice. So, yeah, that's, that's my uh, big revelation and my thought about that. Let's get to something more exciting. What do I want to do with this channel? Because I've got a channel, I, I, I used to review some RPG stuff, and I was very snarky. Now I do work in the industry, and I don't, I'm still snarky, but I'm not like, don't want to do mean-spirited snark. So still, I'm going to review some stuff. Don't, don't worry about that. There will be another top 10 most disappointing D&D &D settings. And yes, you can probably guess which one's going to be on there. And I'll have a whole video about how the the current version of Faroon is kind of crap. Oh, oh the fun. I'm not looking forward to the, to the comments though. I'm still getting comments from that video 10 years ago. Really guys, 10 years. You, you, you give me comments about a video I made 10 years ago on a nobody YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, it, it happens. So, uh, one thing I do want to talk to, and I'll probably do this next week, is a series on what, you know, for groups that want to kind of move their campaigns to something else. I mean... I can just start it right now. You know, but my my easiest um my e easiest advice is if you want to uh convert your campaign, ask yourself a couple of questions. A, is your campaign active? If the answer is yes and you're having people meet every few week, you know, every regularly at the table, don't do it. Don't don't switch horses in the middle of the race. It is, it's kind of a time sink and it's a it's a disruption to the game. 
put your game on pause, have another session zero, make sure everybody's okay, don't convert characters point for point, try to make, try to recreate the same characters, use the same concept. Make them feel like the other, like their original characters, but you don't have to exactly do it. I'll, I'll go into a lot more detail, but it's it. What I want to say is, you know, and ask yourself: Is it something that are you moving it to a game? Why are you moving the game system? You know, is it because you're upset with wizards, which most of us are? Um, and make sure you're moving it to a system that has the same feel of the game you're looking for. Moving, you know, if if it completely changes the if the system changes the feel of the game, don't do it. Let it play out. Play your next game in the next in the system. Um, you know, are you? You know, and then just look for stuff that works for point to point. You don't have to convert everything. Cut the fat, keep it easy, make it fast. Don't don't reinvent the wheel. Um, you know, I'll be going over a pretty long. I'll be making a video very soon about how to how to do Savage Worlds Fantasy with a D and D feel. In fact, that's probably, that might be my next video. I'm just sort of winging it here, guys, so don't be too surprised that this is sort of everything's off the cuff. Uh, real quick question, since somebody did ask this on me on Facebook. Um, yes, I'm back. I'm the same guy. I'm just 10 years older and had a lot of stress. Uh, the blinking issue. I had an eye issue. I had to have eye, I had to have eye surgery. Now I have to wear hard contacts. I'm still getting used to it, so my eyes blink a lot. It's it just lets me see. Um, so, like I said, this is gonna be this is probably very stream of consciousness, but you know this is this is more of a vlog, more of a hey, I just want I have some stuff I want to say about stuff, and I want to put it out and see if people like it. And if you like it, cool. We'll we'll continue on and. It'll be a, it'll be kind of an adventure, and I'll talk about a few things. Like I said, I want to talk about how to do Savage Wolves with the D and D feel. I want to talk about how to do, you know, how to, how to keep your game interesting. Tips and tri tricks I've gotten, you know, just sort of random. This is a hodgepodge channel. This is going to be a, I don't really have a theme. This is my little, little discussion about gaming. That you know, and if you if you like it, feel free to like and subscribe and leave a comment, click the bell. I guess I'm supposed to say that now because of the algorithm. I guess you know. So uh, expect to have some more more videos from me in a bit. I just you know wanted to say I'm back and uh, give you a longer video than a few seconds than I gave you last time. I'm looking to do these mostly on Wednesdays. Uh, we'll see where this goes from here. I really thank you for you guys' you know, watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Y'all have a good night now. Thank you.